How's it going, everybody? Swag Kage here. I, I'm not gonna explain the video. You know what it is based on the title. Uh, everybody's been asking me to talk about this new Boruto episode, and I think that's because everybody else has also been talking about this Boruto episode, and I think I'm the only person in the whole world who hasn't made a video about it yet. So let's just get right into it. You guys know I'm not the most enthusiastic person when it comes to this series. Not that I hate it, not that my videos about it in the past have been negative, but just that I'm not, like, I'm not huge on it. Generally, I'm like, yeah, the episodes were, like, okay, but uh, this one, this one was fucking awesome. Now, I don't just want to leave it at that. I don't want to have really basic, bare-bones opinions about this, because there's a lot to say about it. Speaking about this arc overall, I think Boruto has done a much better job of adapting a movie into an anime arc than Dragon Ball Super did. Not that that's something that anybody should do in the first place. I think that the series should have started right after the Boruto movie ended, like, chronologically speaking, of course, but that's not what we got. However, this episode, just this single episode, is way better than anything in the entire movie. I mean, I, I maybe I won't say that it's better than the movie as a whole, but it's pretty good. The action in this episode, it kicks the shit out of a lot of other action pieces that we've got in, like, all of Naruto. It's really cool. There's a bunch of really creative stuff. Uh, the way they use a lot of the characters' abilities is... It, it just shows a lot of attention to detail. It, it shows that the people directing and scripting this, like, they know what they're doing. You know, they're fans of Naruto. They've been paying attention. Like, they, they, they pull out a bunch of abilities, like... Uh, uh, Momoshiki disables Naruto's Tenketsu using the gentle fist. Sasuke uses Chibaku Tensei, his ability to switch places with people. Naruto throws a fucking Rasen Shuriken, and then it transforms into Sasuke. It, it's so cool. There's a lot of really cool throwbacks to previous stuff that happens. And I, I mean, like, they, they just really knew what they were doing here. They knew that the best way to make this episode good was to just have this really cool, crazy, over-the-top fight with a whole bunch of spectacle where everybody could look at it and go, ah, oh, that's so cool, everybody could fanboy. I mean, I'm pretty sure it made as many people happy as it possibly could. Now, I have my problems with not just this episode, but this arc in general. Um, I think that Momoshiki and Kinshiki are better villains in a movie setting, not in the setting of a drawn-out anime arc, and that's because, and that's because they're very similar to, at least in terms of design and somewhat in terms of abilities, Jubito, Jubimara, and Kaguya. Like, you see these white-skinned people uh, summoning these gigantic Shinji trees and it's very hard not to think okay we've been here before and as a matter of fact I think we were here pretty recently like as in the last few arcs of Naruto which I mean granted Naruto did end in 2014 so it, it's not as bad as it would be if this was like a direct follow-up but it's still a little bit distracting now it didn't bother me because of how great this episode was and I mean it would have been cool to see the other Kage doing stuff because like the the parallels to the end of Naruto become even stronger when it's Naruto and Sai Sasuke dealing with the main bad guys, but you know, I mean, it w I can't really complain because it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for people like fucking Gara and Darui to give somebody like Momoshiki a whole lot of trouble. Speaking of which, the end where Boruto takes Momoshiki out with the Rasengan, I thought that was really gonna bother me like it did in the movie, but uh, I think because of the way it was handled and because of the way they've been handling Naruto and Boruto's relationship, uh, maybe not just over the course of the arc, but specifically over the course of the past two episodes. You know, last episode they had this uh, little little sit down and talk, like, well, you know, maybe we need to pay more attention to each other, you and I. And, uh, oh, granted, uh, while I did like it, and while I think it was a much needed character moment and a great addition to the anime adaptation of the movie, it was really stupid that they had that conversation in the middle of the fight against Momoshiki. I think that this episode just uh, handles the idea of Boruto taking Naruto's chakra and using it to defeat the villain, because in the movie, and maybe this was their intention all along, but in the movie, it seemed like they were having him take the win just because he was the titular character, and you think, oh, okay, so he's gotta wrap things up here, he's gotta defeat the villain, and it felt stupid, but here, it, it felt more like a uh, an opportunity for Naruto Naruto and Boruto to bond to become closer and for Naruto to sort of say here son I trust you you know uh take my help and for Boruto to swallow his pride and accept that his dad's you know a pretty cool guy they also throw in a little bit where Boruto remarks on how heavy and intense Naruto's chakra is like you know how much how much did it take for Naruto to make a Rasengan this big speaking of the Rasengan Boruto has a handful of pretty satisfying moments where he just whops Momoshiki with the vanishing Rasengan like like the guy holds out his hand to absorb Boruto those projectile or Sangon. Like, I mean, if you've seen the episode, you know what I'm talking about, so I feel kind of like a dun's explaining it, but when Momoshiki has everybody trapped in the Shadow Possession Jutsu, Boruto, from the distance, throws her Sangon, and everybody's first thought is like, okay, what's he doing? Like, he has 
no business being in this fight against this fucking continent-busting alien. And so he, like, he throws his Rasengan, and to the average observer, it looks like the Rasengan whiffs away. Like, it, it just vanishes because Boruto sucks at performing ninjutsu. But, you know, if you know the kid, you know that it is. It's a little bit more than meets the eye. The Rasengan vanishes, and Momoshiki's like, <laughs> it couldn't even reach me. I didn't have an opportunity to absorb it. And then it just fucking smacks him in the face. It's one of the funniest things of all time. And then he gets another moment. While he's, uh, while he's trying to create an opening to smash Momoshiki with the Rasengan, one of his clones does something very similar. Ooh, another thing I want to mention is I talked about the, uh, the fact that Momoshiki used the gentle fist earlier, and the hand-to-hand -hand combat near the beginning of the episode is really cool. Everybody likes hand-to-hand -hand combat in Naruto fights, but a lot of the time there's not really a justification for it. Like, Naruto versus Sasuke, uh, the hand-to-hand -hand combat there, the, the one at the end of Shippuden, not in part one, everybody talked about how great it was when the episodes first came out, but at the same time, you think to yourself, I mean, why would they resort to that? They're the strongest people on the planet, they have access to some of the most overpowered, large-scale abilities ever, I, I just can't see why they would fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But here, it's justified because Momoshiki absorbs ninjutsu, and they know that they can't beat him with ninjutsu because he'll just absorb it and then shoot it back at him. So they have to attack him with hand-to-hand -hand combat, and it's a great way to justify inserting something that everybody is a fan of into the series. And, you know, I think a lot of people will agree with me when I say it would have been way more lazy if they had just said, oh, he's immune to all ninjutsu, you have to beat him with taijutsu, just as an excuse for this sort of thing to happen, because, you know, having him have an ability that directly counters ninjutsu, but doesn't necessarily shut it down, it's a good way to invite a whole lot of variety and to give the characters reasons to fight in ways that people like seeing, but that they don't often have a lot of reason to. Just, man, mm, this episode's really good. I mean, like, it, it, I'm just really glad that the writers embraced the, the fact that Naruto and, by extension, Boruto are at heart battle shonen. So what everybody wants to see is just a big smackdown clobber fest that's really well animated, that has a bunch of cool spectacle, a bunch of nice fan service. It, it makes everybody happy. I can't imagine there are a lot of people who will look at this episode and be like, Duh, fuck this shit. This shit sucks. One thing I do want to discuss in regards to this episode is the fact that the ending of the fight between, well... <laughs> fight in quotation marks between Boruto and Momoshiki. Uh, it, it's very reminiscent of the end of the same fight in the manga, which dropped forever ago. And, uh, like, in that fight, Momoshiki says something about a human who defeats a god uh, not being able to remain the same afterwards. Like, he has this mental telepathic conversation with Boruto right before he dies. So, I I'm wonder- I'm pretty sure, actually, that that's an indication that the anime is gonna go in the same direction as the manga, especially considering all the, uh, Kawaki stuff that happened at the beginning of both, but, you know, I, I just thought that was fun to point out. I'm pretty sure it was obvious to, like, everybody else, but, you know, uh, just figured I'd mention it. Speaking of Momoshiki's death, by the way, it was pretty spectacular. Like, if you thought there was any chance that he was gonna DBZ villain his way back on screen, like, no, it, he, he gets carried out in this gigantic Rasengan explosion into the fucking atmosphere, and that shit explodes, and then you're like, yeah, okay, the, the dude's dead. There's, there's no way he's coming back from that. I mean, in all honesty, I'm really surprised by how much I like this episode, because it's like, it's the same thing as the movie, basically, but I think they made it different enough, and I, I mean, like, they combined it with a manga, but they, so, okay, it's really hard to explain, but they combined what happened in the movie with what happened in the manga, which was already a retelling of the movie, but it was different, like, it, the manga was basically completely different, because, uh, they didn't have to use a whole lot of material, so they could, they could just fill it with stuff that was very distinctly separate from the movie, whereas the the anime, I mean, like, it, it's an anime, so it's already more similar to the movie than the manga is, just because you see everything moving and everything's in color, so you can more easily associate the two together. But on top of that, the art style of the anime is extremely similar to the art style of the movie because they were animated by the same people. Meanwhile, the manga has an artist that isn't Kishimoto. Um, you can tell that there are aspects from the manga that made it into the anime and aspects from the movie that made it into the anime. I don't know, it's just something that, uh, that made this episode and I think the arc in general general feel nice. I mean, I did have some problems with it, so I don't think I can give it a a, a solid 5 out of 5, but a 4.5 out of 5 is, like, that's easy. Definitely the best with, like, unquestionably the best episode of Boruto to date. Uh, it's made me a lot more enthusiastic about the series as a whole. I think I want to start talking about it more in the future. Now, I mean, like, 
I don't want to do episode reviews, but if you guys want me to cover specific concepts or characters, let me know which ones in the comments below, and if I get enough support for doing that sort of thing, I'll definitely try to tackle it in the future. Sorry if this video seems like cobbled together at the last minute, by the way. I'm in the middle of working on some other stuff, and a lot of people really wanted me to talk about Boruto episode 65, so I was like, yeah, whatever. Let me give everybody what they want. Without you guys, the channel wouldn't be here anyway, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks, as always, for watching it all the way to the end. Hope you guys have a great night, and until my next video, talk to you later. Swag Kage out. Bye.